What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about how to capture beasts in Hogwarts Legacy. There's some different quests uh, that you will have to do in order to get the quest to be able to capture beasts. So first of all, you will need to do Percival's Trial, then the Helm of Urtcott, then the Caretaker's Lunar Quest, and then the quest called Attend Beast Class. Once you have done all of those quests, you will receive a quest called the Elf, the Knapsack, and the Loom. At this point, Deke the House Elf will kind of show you how to capture these beasts with the spell called Knapsack. Uh, at that point, you can go out and he will kind of show you how to do this. One of the best things, in my opinion, to do is have the Levioso spell with you. That way you can kind of temporarily freeze those animals and keep them from moving. Because depending on what platform you are, you are on, once you open the case itself to capture the beast, you will see a button press system kind of come up where you have to press these buttons in, a, in order to kind of capture the beast itself. Sometimes they will run away and you'll have to chase them down and, you know, open the knapsack again, perform the button combination. And sometimes these animals will get scared, run off, or fly away. The best thing to do at that point is simply fast travel out of that area and fast travel back, and they should respond pretty quickly. Now, when it comes to what can you do with these beasts once you have them captured, uh, you can take them actually to your vivarium in your room of requirement. And this will be unlocked uh, in your room of requirement at a certain point in game. I'm not going to try to spoil anything or anything like that, but each vivarium holds up to 12 beasts and you are limited to four different species. Now, to begin with, I was kind of curious exactly how this was going to work because at the beginning of the game, you only got one vivarium. But overall, once you start to complete uh, kind of things in game and you go further and further into the main storyline with some of Deke's side quest, uh, kind of the arc for Deke, you will then start to unlock more vivariums. And there will be four in total. You will get a coastal biome, a swamp biome, and a mountain biome, plus the original biome that you received. I so far have just a couple of them unlocked. I don't have all four just yet. But once you do that, you will have plenty of space to store all of your animals. And that was kind of the thing that was odd to me to begin with. I was thinking, you're not going to be able to store everything considering you only can have so many species in each, you know, uh, bio area or the bio dome kind of area. So that's a good thing to know. If you're kind of curious about that, you will eventually unlock four of them by doing Deke's uh, kind of side quest story arc. The great thing about this eventually is you can do some different things, and I will make a different video about this, uh, where you can breed the animals and sell them and things like that. You can make some really good money off selling some of these beasts, but when these beasts are actually in your vivarium, you can get materials from them by petting and feeding them. The materials themselves can be purchased, of course, in shops, but it's also possible to go in and actually feed your animals and brush your animals and get these materials uh from the animal itself. So all you have to do is go up and brush the animal, feed the animal, and it will start dropping materials that you will not have to buy. And some of these materials are fairly expensive uh, in brood and peck in the shop. So it is best to start capturing these animals and getting these materials you need for potions and things in game from just that source uh, of them being in your vivarium instead of having to buy them from the store each time you need them. Like I said, if you progress further in Hogwarts Legacy, Beast, uh, Beast Capture and Taming Arc unlocks additional Vivarium biomes, and you'll be able to receive a quest to breed those animals. You also can purchase things you know, like feeders and toy boxes for your uh, blueprints for your uh, beasts themselves. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this. It's a pretty neat feature in game. I know a lot of you are interested in how to do this, and it does take a bit. Like I said, it's this is something that you're going to be kind of not really deep into the game, but you're almost halfway through the campaign by the time you get the Percival Trial. And then once you start doing these other quests, uh, then you can unlock that Vivarium and be able to capture those beasts. So it's not going to be something you can do right off the bat. You're going to have to play a bit before it is, uh, you know, before you are able to unlock it. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.